it's Jill with Quick Flicks, and today is Friday, so I hope everybody has a fun-filled weekend. It's also Memorial Day weekend. I keep forgetting about it being Memorial Day. That's what happens when you work seven days a week, <laughs> and I don't know, one day from the next. Anyway, um, I'm working on some of my little watercolor. I've done these in the past, but I'm doing on one-footers, uh, putting together five um, watercolor safari prints that I've glittered. <clears throat> a lot of the repeat again is because those are the orders I get and I'm only filming if I have an order. Um, Kelly, I believe it was you or it was Samantha. Somebody asked me, when, again, when am I going to be doing scrapbooking? And I feel terrible because I make all these promises that I cannot keep. Every single time I think I'm, I'm getting ahead somewhere, um, I get kicked back a few steps. And right now I'm a few steps back um, in dropping things. But anyway, um, I I simply will scrapbook when I have time. And I, I don't right now, I just don't. If I'm not working on an order, I am taking care of grandkids or doing something believe it or not, productive, because I, other than an, an occasional nap here and there, uh, if I'm awake, I'm go, 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 go. I always have something to do. We're right now trying to get the, we opened our pool three weeks ago and still have, I've still not cleaned it. I've not had the time. So I did that yesterday, tried to finish it today. I'm going to have to finish it in the morning because it's supposed to be hot all weekend. And my eldest daughter called me last night to say that we are, they were going to be over and swimming all weekend. And my other daughter, my younger daughter, is having a birthday party for her three youngest sons. Um, a pool party. So last week we had a surprise party for her. She was turning, she just turned 40 and her um, neighbor, who's become a real dear friend, and some of the family or family members from um, Wyatt, I believe it's Wyatt's, uh, soccer or not soccer, baseball team. That's what I loved about when our kids were growing up. We made friends with all the parents. And so we always had something going on and made lifelong relationships, friendships with these folks that you might not see them, but when you do, it's just like, uh, you know, you catch up on time. It's like you, you've been constant contact. And they're building those kinds of relationships, and I'm loving it. But anyway, I actually text one of her friends that I didn't realize that it was somebody that had ordered some beanbag game boards last year. It was something that came off kind of like, um, could Papa make these? And when my daughter asked him, he just made them. And, <laughs> and she didn't do any quote, um, any deposits, nothing. He's made them. And I'm supposed to do the uh, painting on them. They're the Yankees. And I, I kept thinking, you didn't get a deposit. You don't even know if these people still want it. And I found out this weekend at the party that um, one of the girls, one of the parents from my grandson's baseball team is actually the one who wanted them. So I texted her and asked her if she was still interested and told her what happened, that I didn't know who they were for and if they really wanted them and blah, 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 blah. And she just, yeah, she wanted them really bad. Could I have my father's name, whatever. She's going to be over on Sunday as well. But it was so funny because I'm, her and I are texting all week long and I'm thinking, oh my God, I got another good best, another best friend. And um, she writes me yesterday or this morning and said, oh, how glad she was that she's got to join the circle. And I feel like a legacy of my children's growing up and things is, is passing on to them now. And it's just awesome, guys. I just, it's awesome. Because that's what they grew up with and we're used to. And it's, it's happening to them, making friends with couples that all have something in common. Um, their children, their families, they're, they're just a lot of things that bond them together and this has nothing to do with arts and crafts except I did use the term bonding. This is bonding, hot glue bonds. So there I was referring to crafts. They bonded these, they're bonding friendships. 
Anyway, she wrote me yesterday or this morning and said she was so happy. Um, I, I'm going to have another a new bestie. I shouldn't say a new bestie because I don't want to eliminate anybody. I'm going to have another bestie. But anyway, um, uh, I got going before I had a chance to tell you. This is the little monkey guy. Now, he does not come from the same file, the ones I'm going to be showing you now. Uh, but I tried to pick something out that was the watercolor effect and all that just when you see them they're not as whimsical and bright and bold and everything they're 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 more subtle they're my favorites and they have a lot of shadowing to them and a lot of gradient i really really like them on this little monkey he had a headpiece on with feathers and no i didn't finish gluing them together i went in and i used glitter in the feathers and glitter on his little face um, painting and on his quiver of arrows and then i used my nouveau drops to put the put on the feather and um on this one these were not yes this was nouveau um glitter drops uh, along the headpiece on him i used accents essentials on his eye so they popped out then after i did that i used the nouveau um add dementia i do that every time guys Every single time I use that word, I say dementia, dimension. I have this in my head, this, this, this obsession with dementia that every time I use the word dimension, I use dementia. This is to give it dementia, 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 dimension, 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 not dementia. Wow. I've had Seth, my mother having that and, and coming from a uh, grandmother that had it, a great grandmother that had it, an uncle that had it. And um, it just, it is, it's one scary thing. So I stay busy doing my Crick Blicks. I stay busy taking care of grandkids. Um, I heard that rebounding was excellent for keeping your, your mind crisp as you get older. So I rebound now a half an hour a day. I started out at 10 minutes a day and I'm up to a half an hour a day. Guys, I'm going to give you a little update. I have lost 20 pounds and I'm thrilled to death and I have been working out and now I've implemented weightlifting and uh, again my rebounder which I use every day and my oculus which I use the supernatural and Beat Saber, and I absolutely love it. Um, and the DB method, which is the squats machine, and the climber, which is like a ladder that goes up and down. And I'm trying to think what else I have. I have more than that. I just can never remember my routine. What I have on my, my computer is a YouTube video of all the different core of the body, the, the legs, the, whatever you're working on. I go through those so I'm not doing the same thing over and over again. And I'm telling you guys, I've been dedicated to this. It'll be a year on my 70th birthday that I've been doing this without missing. And I feel like I'm in better shape than I was when I was in my 30s. I have never felt so good. I told, I told my husband that I don't tip over anymore. I used to tip over all the time. And I remember in a lot of videos, I would talk about tipping over and always laughing about it because I always thought it was pretty humorous that I would just tip over. Um, it reminded me of a movie. Um, I can't remember the character's name in it, but he wanted to go out and um, tip over cows. And every time I think of me tipping over, I think of this tipping cows. But anyway, uh, I feel absolutely fantastic. And I want to meet my goals by my 70th birthday. My main goal was getting pretty much back in shape. I'm not exactly where I want to be. That'll probably take another year because that's a lot of exercise on an old lady. Um, it doesn't, things don't spring back like they do when they're younger, when you're younger. But I started taking collagen and um, I use every kind of lotion known to man to see what really actually works because I was a sun worshiper and my skin had taken a beating for it. So I'm trying to undo years of uh, knowingly being a sun worshiper. Um, thankfully, I didn't burn and, and fry and bake my face. It was mainly my body. 
Um, I always was pretty good about wearing sunscreen on my face, but that wasn't because I intentionally put sunscreen on. It was because my makeup always had sunscreen in it. But now I use self tanners and I never know what color. I'm trying every brand because I want to um, see what color is the least orange. My daughter said, why do you wear it at all? And I said, it just, you know, as you get older, it covers up a multitude of, of things that start to grow all over you as you get older. However, I've been pretty fortunate. I've got a lot of that. But my mother did, and she was 90s, and so I don't know when all her body art started to arouse or arise or arouse. I don't know. One of the two didn't sound right. But so anyway, I am not talking one bit about my crafting here, but again, I'm playing more giving you an update on the latest going up, starting at the wrong end of my list, uh, which is not unusual, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't make any bit difference because you're looking at my list and following it, so you don't know that I'm out of whack. Here's the giraffe. These are all one one foot pieces, by the way. Um, this one I put the floral headband on him. I did all the glitter, and on this one I did use the nouveau the nouveau glitter on it. The nouveau glitter is just a little bit. If you could see these in person, the stickles dries flat when you put it on like almost like you painted it on it dries flat love it love it love it the nouveau is dries and it's it's um it's, it's almost like the the embellishments it it's it's got a texture a rise to it i don't know if you say it's risen no that doesn't sound right it um i don't know what the word is guys it is gone if there even is a word but anyway, it's you can feel it. It has a lot more dimension, dimension to it. I got it. Please tell me I got it. Anyway, I used some glossy accents on his hoops, on his eyes, on hers, his. I don't know what it is. He hasn't decided yet if it's a boy or a girl. Guys, that was just a little joke. Some might find it humorous. Some might find it not so much. But I would have to make a joke about it because I don't want to put anybody in a position to make that decision when the time comes. That's just crazy to me. But, you know, there's a lot of things that have changed in my 70 years that... Uh, I think it's harder on the elderly than it is on the young folks. They would go with the flow. Us older folks are cringing. Most of us, I think, are cringing at some of the things that are going on. But I have had a good life, so I'm not going to whine and whatever. And I just pray for my children and my grandchildren. That's all I can do. That's all this one can do. Okay. Now, on her, I forgot to punch out this little cutout up here between her. I think they might be little horns. I don't know. Do, do, do um, Yes, they do. Giraffes have little stubby horns that kind of round circle on the end, don't they? I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Won't be a first time, so don't be afraid. Um, but she's got a flower here that I did not glitter. I put glitter on everything else. And I am going to put a flower on it, a silk flower on it. Now, this silk flower, I gotta get some scissors or wire cutter or one of the above. Let's go with some scissors here. And oh, I don't want this standing up quite so high but I don't want to take the green ear off completely because it sort of holds the flower together. And if I remove it in its entirety, the flower will fall off. Now, when I put my glob of glue on the head, I put it very thick and very high because I want it to go up into this green, this green part of the flower here. I want it to go hold that on really good because if I take this off, a lot of the flowers will then 
fall apart because they're just layers that are put together and this kind of holds them. So what I do is I cut that nubby off to about a 16th of an inch before it's, it's the end. Then when I hot glue it, I make sure that there's enough in there that the hot glue will automatically go up where I cut it off. And I sure hope that made sense. But there's that little booger with his red flower on. Guys, I can't believe I'm going on. I haven't told you the most important thing of all. Last week, I got myself a new grandson. I got a brand new, beautiful, perfect little boy. Um, he weighed six pounds, 12 ounces, and he's got a full head of black hair. And, um, my daughter-in-law had to have a C-section with Ellie, Eleanor, which is, will be two at the end of July. Um, but she wanted to go V back this time to experience childbirth and could not get past five centimeters, which is the same thing that happened with Eleanor. So they ended up taking him C-section which means she will never have a child. If she has another one, she won't ever have one VBAC because once you've had two C-sections, they won't let you even try. But anyway, the one thing about a child that is born C-section, they're not taking a, this head the size of a grapefruit and shoving it through the hole the size of a grape. Um, and so they come out and their heads are perfect shaped and there's no marks on their face or anything. Mine all were, they, my babies were all big ones. So my first one was almost nine pounds, but mine were all eight pounders and up. And um, so I don't know what it was like to give birth to a six pound baby. And Amy's biggest baby was five pounds. Um, but anyway, um, she, he came out perfect. And uh, Kiki's having a little bit of postpartum. Um, she didn't have it with the first one. She's having it with this one which um, it's been a little hard on my son because he's a little concerned about having another one. I think part of her postpartum stemmed from the, she really had her heart set on, on, giving, uh, on not having a C-section. But um, she was over today. I still have Ellie a couple days a week. And I got to, she stopped, came to pick up Ellie today. And she said her, her uh, postpartum is getting better. But I have a beautiful grandson. He was named after my husband, which is Pedro Jose, but they did the English version. So his name is Peter Joseph, quite biblical to me. But anyway, his name is Peter jo Joseph and we call him PJ. They're calling him PJ. I've been calling him Petey. Um, I don't know what I'll end up calling him because once they get bigger and I start actually recognizing them by name, um, I just call them anything because I call Ellie Ellie Bear or I call her Ellie May. And everybody asks me why I call her Ellie May when her middle name is June and, or Jean. And I call her Ellie May because I'm <laughs> from the Beverly Hillbillies. That's all I can say. I call her Ellie May from that. Okay. Um, but um, I had three of my granddaughters this morning on Fridays. I usually have four, but my one grandson... My one grandson has COVID, so he, everyone in his family, um, he had to stay home from school, and Mila, who I normally have, couldn't come over because I've got Ellie, and uh, didn't want to risk one of them getting COVID and giving it to Pete, to Petey, PJ, to the baby, to the baby, guys. But anyway, I took up more and had him right there. Um. Let me see what else is new. I'll have to, if anybody wants to see a picture of them, let me know. And on the second, next video, I'll put a picture of it up. They just had their baby pictures done. Had the preview yesterday of how they came out. Oh, makes my heart just skip a beat. They are my life, guys. Okay, here on the elephant, let me put it together. And I'm going to kind of tell you what happened, what, what's going on with this little guy. These are really of all of the safari or jungle or whatever animals you want to call them. My absolute favorites are these water, these watercolors, uh, this, this particular file. I absolutely love it. I've done them in two feet. I've done them in every size. And depending on the size kind of drives what type of embellishment it will have. Because when they're small, you can't do a whole lot. 
You don't want to put a whole bunch, bunch of extra weight where they're tipping over and or looking out of place. You just are limited to what you can do. Not a bad thing, but it is what it is. And you know what? Do I have something? <gasps> I do. I just see something I can use. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I didn't realize this little guy coming out of the flowers, this little purple thing with little purple whatever's on it. And I happen to have some of those whatevers. So I guess I could finish putting them together first. Um, as far as, let me think, something crafty that I might give you a heads up. I have a, a, a sympathy card that I'm going to work on trying to recreate because the client, it was her favorite, favorite, favorite sympathy card and cannot find them anymore and asked me if I could make it. So then I started messing around with some different things I used in the past, which I'm going to show you in my next video, so I won't really get into it a lot, um, with um, heat embossing and glitters and things like that. On um, my next video, which is... Oh, it's MBA. Okay, it's a school. It's graduation. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I'm going to start implementing some different... Again, promise I me, but I will. Because I, I already did um, started that one. Because um, that whole cabinet there... That you probably can't even see. I'm pointing there. Can you see it here? Yeah, this white cabinet here is full of inks and and the way that I am when I see something I think it's cool I gotta have it and then I never use it. Got a lot of that but these have little purple flowers little purple things sticking out of the center of the flower. So I found these. I always go to Michael's and, or Hobby Lobby and have these bins full of silk flowers of every everything imaginable and I always go there because they're 50% off all the time or just marked down. And this one, I think, this was $250. I guess that would be a little bit high, but I probably got these at a clearance because I don't think I'd pay $250 for them. Um, and I, when I get them, I don't know what I'm going to use them for. And then all of a sudden, my doorbell goes off. It isn't actually my do doorbell, but anyway... The bells go off, and this one works perfect on this guy. So, right in the center of that flower is where they're going. All it takes is a little dab to bring something to life, to me anyway. Oh, yes, I think that works. Now on him, for some reason, I have no idea why I cannot find a picture of the elephant in the file. There is not a whole body of the elephant. So then when I do a search in Etsy and all the different files of safari animals, um, watercolors or whatnot, whatever they are, the ones that are the whole elephant are very whimsical looking and bold colors or um, very, um, they're not watercolors. There's not watercolors and there's no shading or anything. They're just a solid, brilliant print. And they don't go with this set. That's why this was the only monkey I could find that had shading versus being colored a solid color. And I really needed that so that it matched and went with the rest of the animals. But he has no legs. So this floral comes in the file as well as this up on the head. This elephant comes with that on him, but there's no there's no bottom. He, he doesn't have a tail or legs. Poor guy, he doesn't have any of that. He's legless. So I put this one at the bottom to make it look like he's behind some florals. Don't have a choice because I cannot find an, uh, an entire elephant whole body that goes with this design. So then what I did is this is all full of glitter. And again, I used between the... the um, Stickles and the Nouveau. Can't you tell that my memory's 
I can't even snap my fingers. Sharp as a tack. I am. But anyway, I got glitter everywhere. The glossy accents and the eyes. And I do love this element, though. It's so cute. Yeah, guys, um, I, I hate to say it out loud, but believe it or not, my memory is better. I, if I, if I can remember right, it's better. I, um, but anyway, um, still not good, but it's better. It is better. The chocolate's probably what's really killing me. I, I have a weakness for Dove chocolate. And if you see a Dove chocolate package, I, I wandered out to Target this past week which I very rarely go into a store, maybe a handful of times since the pandemic, Not a handful, a single handful of times. I never go to a store uh, and I went, but every time I go to Target, um, the national home debt just, oh my God, I loved it. I love Target, love that place. But um, there was something I was gonna say that I got at Target. I don't remember what it was. And I'm glad my memory's coming back. Oh, it's awesome. I don't know what I was going to say. It'll come back to me, guys. Don't give up on me yet. Don't toss me away. I'm sorry. And no, I'm not screwing these in. The reason I go like this, people ask if I'm screwing them. I'm not screwing them in. I'm turning it because if you shove it, you're going to break. You're, you're going to break him somewhere. If you're going to, if you want to, you have to twist it to get it on. There's no getting around it. You're going to break the peg. That's just the way it is. And the reason they're so tight is I want them to stay that way. I don't want somebody setting up their centerpieces and them falling over. So I want the, the peg hole tight. That's all it is. Okay, now we got the little baby tiger I'm going to put together. Again, he is already glittered. And he is a combination of the Nouveau and the Stickles. He's got the... Um, accent essentials on his paws, on his little feet, and on his eyes. And I'm going to put a flower on him, and I see where I need to do just a little bit more of glittering. Have to move over to my glitter station. So, um, oh, guys, I can't, you know, I need to write things down. I see. I save all these files that I get off of Instagram and um, they have just the best selection of files on, on workouts. So I go in there and you have to, I, I have to concentrate to make sure that I'm not doing the same one every night because you need to let your muscles uh, repair themselves after you tear them down exercising. So I, save all these and I'm going to go back and say okay this one looks like something that's totally doable because some that look easy I try to do and I'm and I'm just too old I just can't do it maybe one day um but I put them in there and I'm, I, my thing is packed full of them and I haven't done one of them I I get so busy and when I go to work out I just I I forget I don't forget I just don't have the time and I was talking to my, my daughter-in-law about it today. And she said, well, or my husband was talking about it. And he said, well, why, why do you have to watch it? I said, because I wouldn't have a clue what I'm doing if I'm not watching it. And he said, well, watch it on your phone. I'm like, yeah, really, I'm going to watch this video on my phone. That I can barely see two feet in front of me. And you want me to watch it on my phone. So anyway, I don't know where that came from. But guys, that's pretty much me. At least I'm consistent. Consistently off key. It's okay. I saw somebody post a po uh, that I posted I absolutely loved. And she made a comment um, and did this post because somebody must have been giving her a hard time about doing her selfies. And she did another selfie and she posted it and got a, went in about the person that said about her doing selfies. And she was talking about how she loved herself and she was happy with herself. <coughs> I can't remember exactly how it was said, but it was so, it was so spot on. 
what she was saying. And I'm like, I love that, that she just busted them out and just said, you know, you might not like me or you may not like this or whatever, but I wouldn't have that confidence and if I didn't love myself. And I think we all need to learn to love ourselves. And, you know, if someone doesn't like it, I've always said the ones that care don't matter and the ones that matter don't care. So when I post, I don't care um, who likes it and who doesn't. Um, I can't remember who said it, said something to me about it on Sunday. Um, and I think it might even been my son. He said, you just don't care. I said, no, I don't. Why? If I live my life caring about what somebody else thought, sure would be a shallow life. I, oh, no, it wasn't my son. It was my daughter's mother-in-law. That woman is absolutely godsend. I just love her to death. But she always says the right things. And I love it. She's got, she was diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer seven years ago. And when they found it, they gave her three to six months to live. And it's been seven years. So she is such an inspiration. And but not one one that I would like to whine and complain on a bad day. Um, but on a bad day, she's one that I want to be around because without her saying anything, without her saying anything, the, the positive energy off of that woman is unbelievable. And uh, I have a friend that has um, lung cancer and they told him in his last doctor's appointment, he had he had three months and he said, no, three years. They are not going to be the one that are going to um, make that call. He had a divine, um, he believed God was gonna give him a few more years. Um, I've kind of been watching, following him just to see how he's doing but he had written on his last post that somebody confronted him and said about him dying of cancer. How can you be so positive and blah, 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 because you're dying of cancer. And he says, no, I'm not dying of cancer. I'm living with cancer. And if you really think about it, that is such a profound way of thinking. And I told this to my daughter's mother-in-law, she's a really good friend. And she and said she was living with cancer she had said to me, I never thought about it that way. Although she tells everybody that, you know, mentioned she is, does use that expression instead of dying. She's living with cancer. But guys, I'm on the last animal. So guess what that means? You don't have to listen to any more of my chatter. This is the zebra. Um, the zebra is just highlighted with the embellishments on his eyes to make them glossy and pop out, and then with stickles for the, the um, glitter. I did not put flowers on his head. I wanted to have um, a couple boys. And I guess girls, it doesn't really matter. I mean, they're babies, so, so who cares? I don't. Um. What is going on? This is Memorial Day weekend. That much I do know, which means the kids are going to be out of school very soon. I think next week, actually. Um, so funny. I don't have much to tell. However, I have so much that happens. I just don't remember everything. Because it's, it's just nonstop, never-ending. I am a never-ending story, guys. That is me. Um, I get, there's a lot of you that follow me that I just absolutely appreciate more than words could ever say because you're always so positive. And I love someone who's positive. And I have no use for negativity. And in bad attitudes and rude people, um, you know, to me, I have no use for them. 
So I'm one that uh, I don't ask if you're having a bad day or not when you're just flipping rude. Because there are a lot of people out there that unbelievable. But thank God there's more good people. And I want you know who you are. And I know who you are. And you, I want you to know I do appreciate you, every one of you. And I know names, but um, I don't know every name. I don't remember every name. I can't remember what I had for breakfast. So just consider the source. However, I do know you're out there and you make my day. Now, what I'm gonna do with him, because he has zero color on him, I am going to take and put on some glitter grass. He's laying in the grass. Now, that to me is absolutely perfect. Except I can't use this one because I only have one. I won't have one for the back. I have my dry mouth, guys, and it's just about making me jump through my skin. So when I get off of this video, I am going to go and find something to undry. I just took my meds a little bit ago, which is part of the reason it's dry right now. Pretty sad that the medications I have to take for my condition also just give me another condition. Like I love it. Okay, I just have a little glitter flower, um, green um, grass tufts. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing this one kind of down to the um, the peg because he's got a little bit of curve on his body. Um, he's got a little bit of a curve up here where he's laying down. And so I want to minimize that peg showing. So I put the grass over it. I've seen a lot of people doing centerpieces that... Uh, I know, well, anyway, I don't say, I have to say I know anything, but I know. <laughs> and, um, I really think if you're, if you really enjoy doing this and you want to do it for folks, uh, try and cover your pegs, number one, because it detracts. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a perfectionist with fat things. It, I think it detracts. I think you need to cover your pegs. And don't make your pigs this tall on a big base in, in your image up here. And then just le leave it like that. Unless, of course, somebody's going to put it inside a box or a cylinder of some sort or whatever. So all you need is that. But if you're doing it to a display, display that way, I would recommend you put some sort of co covering on the, on the peg itself um, to make it look more finished. No one asked me. Um, no one has said anything to me, so I was probably totally out of line saying anything, but I only do it to try and help. And I have an orange flower here. Where does it go? Guys, I made a mistake. Where I put, I'm so proud of that purple over here, and this was supposed to have an orange flower on it, and it still is going to. Let me, I laid everything out so I wouldn't mess it up. I messed it up anyway, guys. And I'm going to still leave the purple little twiggies coming out of there. Still looks cute. Doesn't matter. I could put the orange color down there because that was bigger. No. I got to stop second guessing myself. I did it because I did it. Okay. Yeah. I like to add the textures, the dementia. I wish I'd never learned that word because it just completely ruined my ability to use dementia, 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 gives it dementia. They're way too close, guys. Maybe they aren't even close, but to me and my brain and the way it's fried, they're close. Okay. There we go. I put an orange in him. I'm going to take a picture and be done with him. The next one I'm going to be doing is on a graduation MBA that uh, 
I will be showing you some new to new techniques. It's really cute. So thank you for watching and I will be back if I can find my phone, my watch, so I can turn this off. Have a great weekend, everybody, and be safe. And try again. <laughs> Stare into the... I can't get it to go off. Grid view. What the heyday? Is it off? No, it's not off. I just see it's still ticking away. Seriously? Oh, you've got to be kidding.